So this video could be called Girl Power Crashes Face First into the wall that is reality. This is a video that was sent to me through Instagram, Furfell308. If you want to follow me on Instagram, also there in the links below, you will have my books available in Amazon, Street Survival Skills, Surviving the Economic Collapse, based on my experience in Argentina, a bunch of information in terms of survival, preparedness, security, self-defense, and many topics you probably want to learn about. You have those there. So let's take a look at this thing. This is SWAT Challenge 2024. This is the Chile female SWAT, suite, SWAT team. There they go. So powerful. Five so brave. Involved. There you have the big old picture of the girl power SWAT. So badass. In there they go. The SWAT challenge this there year. they go. <laughs> okay. Those Not very smart, but. Chile. Two teams from the Emirates. The first thing, when, when I first saw this, the first thing I was thinking of, if they go all together, they will all end up like in the middle, right? <laughs> Unless there's a difference of level, which obviously there's not. If they all do what they're obviously doing, there's no other way this ends up other than them just hanging there in the middle because of the amount of weight that they have, all of them at the same time. They will just stay there, and in fact, that's exactly what ends up happening. Check this out. Thailand, Chile. Two teams <laughs> from the Emirates. It's just too much weight. So the first one makes it through. Oh, they go back. Oh, oh. Now, we, we will have our laughs, but one thing to keep in mind, it is not easy to hang like that. I can only do it for one minute. Uh, that's... Uh, uh, and, and with with armor and guns you know, hanging there just like that, that is not easy. Give it a try. If you have a bar for, for pull-ups, give it a try. How long can you hang? Ma minute, two minutes, depending how fit you are and how thin you are. The heavier you are, the less you're going to be hanging there. But that's already quite challenging, you know. So let's give them that at least. The first one to get wet in the ice bath today and uh, we're going yeah uh, they are stuck in the middle of that zip line remember if you fall in the ice bath you have to go back to the beginning of the zip line and do it again and currently Chile have uh, three team members stranded that will not work in the middle of that ice bath they might as well drop and start Thankfully, over. Thankfully, the water will be a little <laughs> bit warmer than it was earlier on this morning. Vamos, vamos! So, it is not, a ma at least for this exercise, and we'll talk about how smart or stupid it is to even have an all-female SWAT team at all. Um, this exercise is really not about the strength that they don't have compared to a man. They're strong women. I'm not doubting that. They're strong women. They don't compare to men. Men are considerably stronger than women. They have faster reflexes than women. They deal with shit in a different way than women do. And we see this in a number of videos. You know, because I want to insist, this is exactly, this is not a great point of, you know, probably why you don't want to have a bunch of women reacting in extreme circumstances like these. Um, this is really a matter of how poorly organized they are. This thing that they did here at first, of all jumping at the same time. SWAT challenge this year. Anyway, I'll save you the, the time, and yes, it is kind of funny, so if you want to look it up, be my guest. But what they end up doing in the end, this is what they should have done all along. And here what they do is organize them help each properly. Other helping one another mark, so up a number what they should have of, done is you see uh, how violations. she's pushing that one so the lead the first one here the first one to reach this point i mean these are exercises that they should have been somewhat familiar with they should have known that they will have to run a certain amount of uh, of length of terrain climb do things so it is really unforgivable that they did not know how to deal with this as a fucking team, which is what SWAT, I guess, is kind of about. I've never been in SWAT, but you would assume. And I have done tactical shooting in groups, and there is a way in which you organize things. The first guy that reaches the, the door is the one that opens it, and you, you move in a certain way with um, 
uh, a certain understanding of what role each one has. If you reach, for example, a wall that you have to go over, well, the first couple guys are the ones that get themselves in a position so as the rest of the ones that go in line climb through it easier. You don't, you don't all just start jumping and clawing at the wall trying to go through at the same time. No, the first guy that gets there helps the other ones go through. Maybe it's one, maybe it's a couple. I mean, there's things that you do in this in this training that should prepare you for this sort of thing. And here she's doing the right thing now. Instead of just jumping on like a bunch of toddlers, the first one here is pushing the other one through, okay? And so she stays behind, right? Another one comes in. This should have been like boom, time. boom, just boom, one up. after the other. Pushes that one. There you go. Another one. Okay. There we go. Got two team members over. Okay. Vamos. Uh, and you probably save the most, uh, the most athletic person for last. And this is the one that will try to run a little bit, get as much momentum as she can, and then her friends on the other side will pull on this rope trying to pull it down as much as possible so as to give her a little bit more angle. Two more members to come. <laughs> what? So you, you see, it. even this is poorly organized. One more. Uno mas. Uno mas. Vamos, uno mas. Hey. Hey. Guys, this is it. So... It's funny, uh, women are not men, and if these people have to reach uh, a, a certain position or engage uh, a, a, an attacker, a hostile, someone that is hurting people, whatever scenario it is, would this be the kind of thing you, want, you wouldn't want to deal with? Would this be the people you'd like to respond when your life is on the line? The same goes for, you know, for firemen. Oh, that is so... <laughs> the, the patriarchy fire women. No, firemen, I want a dude to carry me. I'm not exactly featherweight, so I'd like a dude to carry me. Not a bunch of 100-pound women that can barely c carry themselves. You want dudes to be there to help you out. You want guys to be able to climb through walls, go through obstacles, swim through whatever the hell needs to be swam through or whatever it is. You want guys because they're going to be stronger, they're going to be more agile, they're going to be having better reflexes, simply because they're men. It's not the patriarchy, it's biology that dictates these things. So, But we live in this stupid world where everything is offensive and um, biology triggers people because it goes against their own mental fantasies about men and women being equally strong. No, they're not. No, women are not as strong as men. Women do not react in the same way during crisis and when attacked and when hurt and when uh, when they find themselves. And you see this in many of the videos that we have analyzed of, of police officers. It is far more often the case that the ones that have this mental block breakdown thing, it happens to men as well. But usually it's going to be women that freeze or don't know what to do or don't know how to deal with it or just go away or just say, actually say, I can't do this or I can't or just find themselves in these positions where usually you would probably want a man. If it's a SWAT team, I don't want any women in my SWAT team. It is, uh, it is a, a very physical job that it requires very fit men as strong as possible and this is no place for woke nonsense of but I'm just as strong as any man. No, no you're not. No you're not. That's why in combat sports you do not let men fight women unless you're right. That's not how it goes. If it has to be someone that drags you out of a burning building, yeah, you probably want a man as well. Okay? Rescue teams, this sort of thing, that's probably where you definitely want to go with with, with what biology dictates and not this nonsense. See you in the next video, guys. Take care.